the Red Caboose Winery. We're in uh, Meridian, Texas, which is in Central Texas, and uh, we're considered top of the hill country. Um, uh, my dad and I started this about eight years ago, and we really had no intentions of starting a winery. It was more of uh, uh, building a house and planting a little bit of vin vineyards. Um, one thing uh, that kind of led us on to this is uh, some native grapevine that we found uh, down on the property. And uh, ex we experienced just planting some grapes and, uh, and everything started going out well and we started expanding and we've been making wine for about five, six years. We've been open for about uh, the last two years to the public. Um, but things are pretty, going pretty good. The rock here in the, in the vineyard is allowing us to uh, drain really well and it's growing some really uh, uh, tremendous grapes for us. Uh, here at the at the winery um, in the vineyard, we're finding these uh, unbelievable fossils, um, and uh, we're digging about three feet deep when we plant, and we have to plant with a uh, rock saw to cut this rock. Well, uh, a bunch of things just uh, come out of the ground, and we're finding um, fossils on the ground. Well, this is uh, one of our rock patios out here, and um, all this rock came from our vineyard. This is uh, pretty much the the big stuff that we kind of use in the vineyard, and uh, we decided, well, why don't why don't we just use it as a building material? Um, what we've done here is we've uh, we've done a uh, outdoor fireplace with a Dutch oven, and um, we have a pizza oven and smokers in the back. Um, we also have a grill over here that people have been using to uh, grill uh, shrimp or chicken, and uh, um, a smoker that's underneath it. But these are uh, uh, open for people with private parties and groups. Uh, we've had weddings come out here, uh, cater events. Here at Red Caboose Winery, we're collecting rainwater. These are some of our smaller tanks, but as you can see, uh, they come, they're connected off our, of our uh, gutter. Uh, one thing that we tried to do is keep the gutter higher than the tanks, and they fill from the bottom up with gravity, so there's no uh, 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 unclean look on it or, or any kind of ex exposed pipe. Um, but the rain catches uh, on the roof, comes right down this pipe and fills from the bottom up, and then everything is connected to our, our uh, pump house in here which is all of our irrigation. Uh, we use this water to uh, irrigate the vineyard, irrigate our landscape uh, sprinklers. Um, one big thing we, we get is uh, uh, water in case there's a fire. We have uh, uh, hookups for hoses too. Um, now the bigger roof connects to two larger tanks on their side and in four inches we can get about 16,000 gallons. Um, and we also have spill out to the top so when it's raining a lot the water just kind of uh, just comes gushing out. Here at Red Caboose Winery, uh, we're making uh, a lot of wines. Uh, we're experiencing uh, some new blends that we're trying to uh, uh, come out with. Uh, some of the red wines that, that have been real popular for us, uh, definitely today that I'm still selling, is our, our Tempranillo 07, which is uh, won uh, some bronze medals in the uh, Houston shows and, um, and won at the Dallas Morning News. Um, it's a really smoky wine. It's uh, good with game meats and uh, definitely the hunters that come in, it's a, it's a favorite for them. We, uh, we also have uh, a Syrah Cab. It's 30% Syrah, 70% Cab, and it's a lightly oaked red, so it's for the people that really kind of are into the lighter reds. Um, the alcohol is high, so you're going to get a, a full body flavor. Um, then also another great wine for us uh, that, that we've been doing that I recreated is our Lenoir Tempranillo. And this is 50% Lenoir, 50% Tempranillo, and it's our first wine from 2008 to release. And it's been gaining in popularity. It's still young, but people are really liking it. Um, it's a very light wine, uh, something I'm, I might do with uh, steak or, or barbecue. Um, not only are we making red wines, but we're getting into white wines and sweet whites. Um, one of the, the biggest favorites we've had is the Sin Rose. It was our first uh, uh, white Zinfandel to make. Uh, I get strawberry flavors and a, a very uh, good patio wine just to drink outside. Um, another great grape too that's been growing is Viognier. And Viognier uh, they use a lot as a blending wine, but it has a lot of green apple flavors, uh, a lot of tartaric acid. Um, it's an unoaked white wine, so it's going to be real crisp and be a really uh, good wine for the summer. Um, but here too we're also making port wines. Uh, we're trying to get into Madeiras and uh, true Portugal ports. Um, we're trying to uh, accumulate uh, old barrels, whiskey barrels, to, to age the port in. And one of the last ports that we had that just sold out is, uh, is at the Fairmont Hotel. And so we've been su supplying some wine to them. But 
Uh, when you're at, on the next road trip, definitely make sure and you come out to Red Cookie Swannery. <laughs>